wives is spelled C-O-U-P-L-E. Following is a brief review of these six concepts. If a husband memorizes and uses even one or two of them each day, he will do his part in keeping the energizing cycle going. Husbands should ask themselves these questions. Number one about closeness to see. Am I always remembering to move toward her and accept her need to talk and connect with me to be reassured of my love? Two, on openness, the O, do I share my thoughts with her and am I sure I'm not resisting her efforts to draw me out? Three, understanding you. Am I careful not to try to fix her every time she talks about one of her concerns or problems? Am I remembering that she has an integrated personality and whatever happens affects all of her, especially her emotions? Four, peacemaking, the P, am I always willing to resolve issues and am I careful to never say, let's just drop it and move on? Five, loyalty, the L, do I constantly look for ways to tell her that I will be loyal to her forever, that she's the one love of my life, the only woman for me? Six, esteem, do I always let her know that I treasure her and put highest value on her as a person? Do I let her know that what she does and things are important to me? Does she know I couldn't possibly do without her? How does a wife spell respect for her husband? Like a wife spells respect for her husband, cheers, and uses these six concepts to let him know how important and vital he is to her. Wives should ask themselves these questions. Number one, conquest the sea. Am I always standing behind him and letting him know I support him in his work and endeavors in his field? Number two, hierarchy, the H. Do I let him know I respect and appreciate his desire to protect and provide for me and the family? What have I said recently to communicate this? Number three, authority, the A. Have I gone on record that because he has the primary responsibility for me, even to die for me, I recognize him as having the primary authority? Do I let him be the leader? How have I helped him in that regard recently? Number four, insight, the I. Do I trust his ability to analyze things and offer solutions and not just depend on my intuition? Number five, relationship, the R. Do I spend shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder time with him whenever I can? Do I let him know that I am his friend as well as his lover? Six, sexuality, the S. Do I honor his need for sex release even when I don't feel like it? As a husband spells out love to his wife through C-O-U-P-L-E and a wife spells out respect to her husband through chairs, they can't help but meet each other's needs. The beauty of it is, if you meet a need in your spouse, it will come back to you as your spouse meets one of your needs. The key is in always being willing to cut your spouse some slack, as this woman discovered.